Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next problem for which we need to use some deductive reasoning. And we have an example where we have five individuals that are working inside, let's say, a store. And the question is, do we, ha do we have enough employees? And the requirement is that we need three employees for every day of the week, Monday through Friday. And so here we have the five employees which have individual restrictions. John can work any day except every other Monday and every other Wednesday. Mary can work Thursday and Friday only. Carl can work Tuesday and Wednesday only. Linda can work every day of the week except Friday and Pete can work every day of the week except Tuesday. The question is if you're the manager of that store are you able to put enough employees in that store every day of the week? for every week of the month. Now, since John can work every day of the week, except every other Monday and every other Wednesday, that means every other week he cannot work the same days. So we need to put up two calendars for two different weeks because the results will look different for the two weeks. So let's say week one, John can work every day of the week. Week two, he can only work three of the days, not Monday and not Wednesday. So for week one, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And for week two, we have. And now what we're going to do is have the, the, the five employees. We have John, we have Mary, we have Carl, we have Linda, and we have Pete. And again here, we have John, Mary, Carl, Linda, and Pete. And let's see if we have enough employees for those two weeks. And of course, then they would repeat. So what we want to do is make sure we have at least three individuals that can work on every one of the, uh, every one of the days. So again, visualization, having a picture, is worth a thousand words. So John can work any day of the week except every other Monday and Wednesday. So let's assume that he cannot work Monday and Wednesday on the second week each time. So it can, that means that John can work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of week one. But week two, he cannot work Monday and he cannot work Wednesday. So only Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mary can work Thursday and Friday only. So for both weeks, she's available Thursday and Friday, available Thursday and Friday. Carl can work Tuesday and Wednesday. So Carl can work Tuesday and Wednesday, and here again, Tuesday and Wednesday. Linda cannot work on Friday, so she could work Monday through Thursday. So Linda can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And finally, Pete cannot work on Tuesday, so the other four days he can. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So now let's add up how many employees we're going to have on each day of the week for those two weeks. On the first week, we can have three employees available for Monday, three employees available for Tuesday, four on Wednesday, four on Thursday, and three on Friday, which means we have enough employees to schedule at least three employees for every day of the week, which means we can elect not to have somebody come into work on Wednesday or Thursday of the people that are available to work that day. How about the second week? Well, for Monday, we have two. For Tuesday, we have three. Wednesday, we have three. Thursday, we have four. Oop, one additional one, four. And we have three for Friday. Notice we have enough employees for four of the five days, but Monday, every other week, we only have two people available to work in the store which means we probably need to get one more employee that is available to work at least Monday every other week to fill in the schedule. So here, a nice visualization following the rules. We can then quite easily pick up whether or not we have enough employees. In this case, there's not enough. We need at least one more. And that's how it's done.